Hey, this is MacHeads101. My name is Jake. Welcome to your seventh Java tutorial, and today I'm going to be talking about J Radio buttons. And so, if you remember in the last tutorial, we um, used file menus and we had um, radio button menu items so that only one can be selected at a time. Well, these radio buttons are kind of like checkboxes, and only one can be selected at a time. So, we're actually going to be making the same program we made in the last tutorial just with radio buttons. Uh, buttons instead of a file menu which is where when you select one it changes the background to whatever you said so I'm actually gonna have more colors in this tutorial just because it's more fun that way so I may just implement um, action listener just so we can actually you know do something uh, so private J radio button red I'm going to copy and paste this a couple of times. So we're going to have five colors. Red, uh, blue, yellow, green, and magenta. Because that's a fun one. And I have no idea how to spell magenta. Alright, so now public second it's constructor. I'll set layout as um, just a new flow layout because I don't feel like coding a custom layout right now. Set visible true. Set default close operation. Um, Set size, I'll make it 400 by 250. All right. So now red equals new J radio button. And in there I'll put in red. So, you know, you know what each button is going to be doing. And I'll just copy and paste this four more times to do for each other button. So, uh, blue yellow, green, magenta, and of course we're going to change the uh, label of it to all that, so blue, red, blue, yellow, green, magenta. All right. Now I'm going to make that um, a button group. And what that means is if when I add things to a group, only one of them can be selected at a time. And since I only want that because I, I don't, the background can only be one color at a time, which is why these are uh, radio buttons in the first place. A radio button means it can only be one thing at a time. So do that button group. I'll call it group equals new button group. And I just have to add these... Um, to the group. So group dot add red. And I'm gonna copy and paste this because I'm lazy. Blue, yellow, and magenta. Alright, so I think what else I have to do. Uh, oh yeah, the add the action listener to them. So red dot add action listener. This so that adds this action listener, the one that's implemented. And yeah, we'll do that for blue, yellow. green and magenta and now I just have to add all those components to the window otherwise they're just not going to show up and that would be bad so uh, yeah so add red add blue add green
Magenta. And yeah. All right. So now the last thing to do is build that action listener. Um, or else the whole point of our program, you know, there's no point because we're just trying to change the colors. So, yeah. And so in this um, method is we're going to um, change the color based on what's selected. So public void action performed. Action event e, all right. So now if e dot get source equals equals red. So basically, um, if red is selected, if the location of the event is red, if red is selected, set background color dot red. And that basically means if red selected, set the background color as red. And I'm just going to do that for blue and yellow and green and magenta. So blue, blue. Yellow, yellow. Green green and magenta is one of these colors luckily so color dot magenta okay so that's um our action listener and in here I just have to do this second s equals new second that's all and I'm not doing s that set visible this time because it's set visible in here. So now I'm just going to run this and you'll see exactly what it does. All right, so here's our five buttons. And let me just resize this because I feel like it. So red, blue, green, yellow, magenta. So when I click red, the background becomes red. And when I click blue, it's blue, green, yellow, magenta. Okay? So basically, um, the group is what made it so you can't select more than one at a time and the radio buttons only one can be selected at a time so as you can see that one's selected and then I try to click blue and I can't select it because the radio buttons so thank you for watching Macheads 101 subscribe and goodbye